How do you do? This is Trip, and welcome to my channel. Hope you'll subscribe and watch videos, share with others, and comment if you like. Well, this is my first ASMR dining video, so I try to have everything prepared. So much th stuff to keep track of. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Anyway, I'm talking today about. Oh, I'm also dressed up. I miss being dressed up like at work. And I actually was one of the best dressed people. Well, possibly probably the best dressed in my in my group. And I miss that. Anyway, today I'm going to be having a, a Coca-Cola and a moon pie. This is also my, my second or third video with my Yeti and my new camera. So I have a lot to learn about that. So just kind of bear with me. I mean, so much going on here. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the moon pies here, these are made at the Chattanooga Bakery, okay? And they've been made there every day since April the 29th of 1917. That's when it was first baked. It was a miner's snack. The miners in Kentucky wanted something they could have that was, that was uh, not, maybe not real nutritious, but that would give them a lot of energy to get through the day. Okay. So this salesman talked to the miners and they told him, they told the salesman what they wanted. And this is what was the result. They called it the moon pie because the, the Kentucky coal miners said they wanted something that was as big as the moon, supposedly. And the drink that went along that was the, well, that went along with that for many of their meals was the RC Cola. So the RC Cola and the moon pie. Well, you can't find RC Colas. I couldn't find any. So the next best thing was a Coca-Cola. But the RC Cola and the moon pie were the working man's lunch. There's even a festival in Tennessee, the state of Tennessee, a moon pie festival. There's also a song, R.C. Cola and the Moon Pie. So, the R.C. Cola was, in, was invented in 1905 in Columbus, Georgia. It was the first drink in a can, and there were many varieties. But I can't find any R.C. Colas in a bottle anymore. The Coca-Cola was invented in Columbus in 1886. And I actually went to that, to the house of, of Dr. Pemberton, who was the inventor of it. That is, it's like a museum. Another story about Coca-Cola. There was a bank, there is a bank in Florida, the Quincy State Bank, and it's supposed to have had the most millionaires per capita back in the, in the 20s or 30s, because one of the bankers there convinced a number of the residents of the little town to buy stock in Coca-Cola. In 1919, Coca-Cola was $40 a share. Today, one share of that stock would be worth over $6 million, including dividends. Well, I worked for the, I was a bank examiner, and that was part of my, my region back in 1976. And here's my, my daily, my daily reports that has oh, those banks on there. Actually, it's a training type thing, okay. So, I actually went to that bank, and I don't know if, I don't think either one of the principals who, 
who told, who convinced the people to buy the Coca-Cola stock. I don't think either one of them was still alive at the time. And also, when I was growing up, working in the tobacco fields, cropping, picking tobacco, we looked forward to having a break of Coca-Cola and a moon pie or an RC Cola in the morning and the afternoon. And we would come to the end of the row cropping in the heat, filthy, dirty, and we'd see my mother or my father driving down the end of the row with our snacks. That was the most beautiful thing in the world. Getting that, that moon pie or whatever little honey buns everybody liked and having a, a Coca-Cola or an RC with it. By the way, this Coca-Cola cost me a dollar and thirty cents. It's a small one. You can't hardly find them sold anywhere in a bottle or at least in a, a small bottle like this. So, time to open the Coca-Cola. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Too much ceremony, maybe. Was it the right way? Yes. to drink an RC Cola every evening for many years when I was younger. And maybe 20 years ago, I started drinking a Coca-Cola every night. And then I quit maybe like, well, maybe it was like 10 years ago. It's a lot of, sh a lot of sugar, you know, but there's nothing better than a Coca-Cola. I just wish I could have found one of my RC Colas. And you don't need to eat it with a with a fork and a knife. And nobody does. It was just a little special, so I wanted to do this. Mm. I wish you were here. the little fork because it lasts longer. Use the little fork of Chattanooga Bakery. So, Chattanooga Bakery. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm wearing my head because I've never done this before and I need to see how things sound. Mm. You like that? I think so. Mm. Mm hmm.
everything had to go right for this video because I don't want to buy two Cokes and two Moon Pies because I know I'll be eating them too fast. Mm. Here's a cross section of it. Marshmallow. And like graham cracker. Just like the miners wanted. And I think that in 2017, they switched back to the original natural ingredients when the, that the moon pies were made from when they were first manufactured, <laughs> baked back in you've watched, I think you've suffered enough watching me enjoy this delicious little morsel. So I'll let you go now. And this was Trip. Go out and get yourself a See if you can.